Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part two of the two-part beach house series that we have here. And today we will be working on a part two of the house. So, nothing crazy. I'm just trying to get the layout figured out. Again, I'm not a layout person. Uh, hopefully I get better as I build more. But I just do what I think works and just go with it. So yeah, I could not get rid of that little, those walls down below the first house. I don't know why, they just like would not leave. And like I tried like everything and if like, I think the only option is to like delete the whole building in order to get that gone. So we're just gonna pretend it's like a shelter that you go if there's like a storm, you go down in like this little shelter area. But yeah, the kitchen, I am literally in love with this kitchen. I I don't know why, I just love the colors, I love how everything kind of blends well together and it like reminds me of like a little beachy little kitchen, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that's what I was going for, but I think that is what I achieved and uh, I just am literally so in love with this kitchen. I, I just, if I had a kitchen, I would want it to be this one. But I think in the end it turned out so nice. Um, and I hope you think it does too. And yeah, so I put like this, that like light blue wallpaper back there and with the, with the counters and the cabinets, I don't know, I just think everything looked nice and so this little cutout area i decided to put a little a little dining room because i thought that fit perfectly right there i think that'd be nice too to go have a little dinner lunch breakfast and just kind of chill inside outside like right in that area and i really like these um these poles these little pillars there i didn't use them much they're just like a support system some support beams in this little area but I, I just again I just love the colors and just all the colors that I chose for like this downstairs upstairs is all right but downstairs I just I love just how it turned out I just think it turned out so cute so fun and yeah I'm just right here trying to find some little clutter items to put here and there and then we are going to yeah, place some windows, because that's the thing, I didn't put any windows anywhere, because I wanted to see where I wanted to place furniture and then kind of go from there. But here we are working on the bedroom. So if you remember from the last video, we're gonna play pretend and say this is like um, a grandparent's getaway little island. So this is where their kids stay, and then upstairs will be where the grandkids would stay. So. And then I'm just thinking, so this would be like my Nana, she bought this island house and she said, hey Haley, you can decorate the other building however you want. And then this is what I, this is how I, I would do it, I guess. Uh, but like, I also loved this color. I know it's very wood, a lot of wood tones and kind of all like the same color with just like a little bit of a, a different color here and there. Um, so this bedroom isn't my favorite, but I still think it turned out pretty nice. And I really like using, um, the, the counters for like, just like a little dresser in there. I just think it's very cute and it adds a little, a little more detail to the bedroom than if I were to just grab one of the, the dressers that the game already has. But yeah, so here we're just choosing a few decorative items and now on to the bathroom I can't tell you how much I despise working on bathrooms I don't know why there's just I just don't like working on bathrooms I think they turn out fine but when it comes to the bathroom I just don't know I guess what a bathroom should look like I know you know you got the the toilet the sink and the bathtub or the shower but like when it comes to the walls, do you put wallpaper? Do you just make it paint? Do you use paneling? I, I, I don't know. So I do stick with this wallpaper 
and I think it ended up all right. I mean, all the colors kind of match, so the, the bedroom and the bathroom kind of seem like the, the color scheme and the, the lights and the darks. Kind of what we were going for there, I guess. Honestly, this, this is a bathroom I just put it together just the best I could. Um, so I use a lot of browns, I've noticed. Um, I, I just feel like brown is a nice neutral color. Um, and then of course whites and blacks, those are all very neutral colors and everything can kind of go with that. And if you stick with those, and then you have like a pop of color here and there. So like we've got the pop of the green in the vase and then the towel on there. But here we are going into the living room. And I love this living room. I think it is so cute. But here you'll see we start to use the, the pinks and the yellows. I don't know why, I just, I saw this, these chairs, and I loved the chairs, so I wanted to keep them. And uh, so that's what we kind of went with, because I, I kind of want to choose the furniture I like, and then go from there in regards to the walls and whatnot. And here, again, I'm trying to play with an accent wall, and I still just wasn't, wasn't happy with it. Um, if I could have put, like, more stuff I don't know maybe in the next video I'll try and play around because I love accent walls if you can get them to work I just couldn't get it to work this time but here I'm just playing with different yellow shades that I want and I ended up going with this one and I don't know why I didn't put a light in here so for however long I am decorating without a light because who needs a light um, yeah, and I do think that the living room is a little bare. I didn't put, I didn't put like a coffee table in front of the, the little couch area thing. I just thought it would be too much to have the one that's under the table or under the TV, that table under the TV and then another one. So I kind of just left it like that. I wish I added a little more detail here and there, but I just decided to move on. So now I'm working on kind of just a little study area. We had one kind of on the entrance of um, part one, but this one we decided to add a little computer and just put a little bookcase and of course add more of these chairs. My, my idea was, hey, they got like, it was like a four piece set thing <laughs> on those chairs. Uh, but yeah, so here, I don't really know if I like what I did there, but I did it. And it, they matched the colors, so I just put those pictures there and we, uh, we just went with it. And of course, this little rug. And I think rugs just tie things together in a little wreath there. So I honestly, I liked that chair, but I didn't do much more to the outside and I kind of wish I did, I just didn't know what to do. Like, yeah, you can add all these seating arrangements and whatnot, but I just didn't, I didn't know what else. And I mean, I'm not also not too familiar with all of the pieces and, and whatnot that come in each of the packs. So I don't know if there are nice things that I can put together and make it look more lived in and, and whatnot, but you know, as, as I go and build more things, then I'll probably notice, you know, more pieces and I'll be able to find different things to just make it look more homey and more lived in and not, not so many bare empty spaces. So here's just like a little deck area. And then I do end up putting, um, yeah, so this was gonna be like the little washer for the other family. But yeah, I added a few little pieces here in, on the other side to the back house, the to the back of house one, which I will go back to that. And yeah, I mean, all I did was put a, um, a grill and a little seating table, but I wanted to put like an umbrella. I like the picnic table, but I just couldn't get it to look right if I tried to like advance move some things. So I, so I did it and that's why it's kind of, that's kind of all that's there. And here I wanted to create like a cute little outdoor seating area, but I mean, I what I end up with is just that back little plaque with these 
chairs like that. I don't think it looks bad. It's uh, it's cute. You know, if I were to go on vacation, on a little Instagram picture, I would take it right there. I think that's a nice little picturesque spot. Um, yeah, so we're just adding a few more windows here and there. So now we're working upstairs. Um, the layout is, um, I guess, basically the same as downstairs. It's the bedroom and bathroom. There's this area for the kids. And this was, again, this is where the kids would go. The parents are downstairs and the kids are upstairs. So they get this whole top area to themselves. And they also get their own bathroom with a shower. And I didn't do much to that bathroom. You'll see here in a, here in a minute. It kind of got neglected, but. So yeah, my thought was there are two grandkids and their, their bedroom is kind of meh. It's all right. <laughs> Um, I did try to make it look more lived in than the other rooms and I use these little end tables everywhere. I don't know why I just love them. So we just throw them basically anywhere that needs an end table. I just threw those circular ones in there and of course got to put a plant in the corner of the rooms, make things look more full or and whatnot. And yeah, so I guess we went for a little blue theme in the kids room and I yeah it's not my favorite room definitely the downstairs I love way more than the upstairs and I was trying to find a fun rug but with the with the beds having prints I didn't want a too like bright and in your face rug so I opted for the gray you know kind of more chill rug here and now I'm just trying to get some some clutter objects around, make things look more lived in. And if they're like me, I have clothes all over the floor. And so I just threw some under the dresser there. A little laundry hamper, of course. And the kids throw the clothes on the floor instead of, <laughs> instead of the hamper. And yeah, I'm not too thrilled with the wall decorations here. Um, I went kind of beachy and then kind of just random. Like, uh, this is just like the kids getaway place for the summer, you know, it's their grandparents place and uh, But they have a bulletin board and they brought their backpack. Maybe the one kid has to go do schooling over the summer. So he had all that fun stuff And there isn't much to the outdoor area this little I guess not an outdoor area but the, the living room this space if you may um, just these little nook chair things I thought were cute. Um, threw that little dresser thing there, here and there. I just put a dollhouse in there to kind of fill up space and make it look more like the kids live up here. And yeah, so I, I love that circular table, I guess, coffee table. Um, but I always have to scale it down because it's just like way too big. So I don't know once you go in game, if you start placing things on it, if it'll get all wonky. I don't know, I, I really need to like test things before I uh, finish. Um, but yeah, so just little decorations here and there. And I love this rug too, so I had to, I had to put it in here. And some more plants, and we're just gonna pretend that plants are allowed to go through the walls, cause it's going to happen because you want to place things like right up on it. But with the, how the plants lay, they go through and it's fine. It's fine. And I realized after uh, those mirrors that I put just um, inside the door were like medicine cabinet mirrors. Uh, but they were like the only ones that worked um, with what I wanted to do. So yeah, again, this bathroom is boring. Not, not much to it. So now I'm just kind of putting some fencing, railing, and that's basically it. Some more little support beams here and there. And I realized I didn't put stairs leading up to the houses. Either one, you can't really get to them unless you crawl out from the water onto like the lowest little deck area. Um, so I'll have to go back in and do that. But here are the screenshots. 
So we're gonna look at the downstairs and then we'll look at the upstairs. So here's the living room. I just love this living room. The pictures, not so much, uh, maybe just rearranging. But then here's the little study area, which I think is still cute. It's just, I don't know, I was just in a cutesy vibe. And this kitchen, I just love this kitchen so much. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, the little dining table, table area and whatnot. Um, the bathroom and the screenshots, I don't think it looks too bad. Um, it works, it does the job. And you know, what else? Are you gonna, what else do you do in bathrooms? I mean, I don't know. I've never really seen a fancy bathroom. Um, but here is the bedroom. Um, kind of boring, all kind of one color. Uh, I just noticed the rug is basically the same color as the walls, but, but not too bad. So now we're going upstairs. But if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on more videos to come hopefully next sunday i will have planet zoo up and running and we will start getting some more of the cleveland builds um back up on youtube but until then we're gonna just keep working on the sims but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye